Now happening in a few hours, disbarred attorney turned convicted murderer Alec Murdoch will face a judge again. News News Walker Simmons is joining us live from the federal courthouse in downtown Charleston this morning. And Walker, this is where Murdoch will face a judge this morning. Riley Octavia, that's right. At 10 o'clock this morning, Alec Murdoch is set to be here in downtown Charleston at federal court. And according to court documents, Murdoch agreed to plead guilty to 22 federal charges today, including conspiracy to commit wire fraud, bank fraud and money laundering. Now, Murdoch will be required to surrender a minimum of $9 million as a part of the agreement. That's roughly the amount that he stole as a result of the crimes related to federal charges. And the trial for Murdoch's state charges is expected to begin in November. Now, ahead of today's plea, I spoke to a partner at the Bland Richter law firm, Ronnie Richter, who represents the Satterfields, the family of the longtime housekeeper Murdoch stole money from. It's encouraging, but at the same time, it's confusing because at the same time that he's going to plead guilty to having stolen that money from the Satterfields, he's appealing a denial in the circuit court of his effort to try to take back the confession of judgment that he gave the Satterfields for having stolen the same money. So Again, everything in Murdoch world is a little convoluted. And Richter says the date for Murdoch's sentencing hearing could be set today. Murdoch may also have to submit a polygraph test. You can count on two for full coverage of today's plea. Live in downtown Charleston, Walker Simmons, count on two.